So making my chicken piccata, which happens to be my most requested, one of my most popular chicken dishes, and probably one of the easiest ones too. I think everybody just loves chicken piccata. So we'll just take four breasts of chicken, and you could definitely make it with um, chicken that has skin on it. Today I'm just gonna make it really simply. <laughs> I've got Enzo here as my, as my partner in crime. Um, season, just make sure you season the chicken really well. Salt and pepper. Really simple step, but really important to get a very flavorful piece of chicken every time. Especially if you're not going to use um, any skin. Right? Okay, take it, and we're gonna just dredge it in a little bit of flour. You just wanna get a little bit of flour. The flour creates a nice sort of um, velvety sauce in the end. Okay, we'll put them back on this plate, and we're gonna start browning them up in a little bit of butter and olive oil. So it's a mix of olive oil and butter. This is sort of like the north of Italy and the south of Italy coming together. You're so oh, handsome, Bruno. You're handsome too, NZ. Where's Ollie? Oh, Ollie's over there sleeping on the chair. My boys. If you do a mix of oil and butter, it just adds more flavor to the chicken, especially because when I wrote this recipe, I wrote it with um, chicken breasts that have no skin and no rib, right? So you need a little bit extra fat. Okay, now that it's melted, turn up the heat just a little bit, put a little bit of sizzle. See, see those little bubbles? A little sizzle. And the reason you don't want to use only butter is because the butter will burn. If, it's, um, if you only use butter, and you don't want that. So you want a mix of the two. You've got a nice golden crust on them. Okay, a couple minutes on this side. And we're gonna take it out and put it to the My tan babies, right here. See, nice golden color underneath. I'm gonna set them aside. I'm gonna start making the sauce and then we'll set them back in the sauce to finish cooking. At this point, they're not cooked yet. All right, so we added chicken broth. And sometimes I add a little more chicken broth. I like it saucy. So I like doing three quarters of a cup. The recipe says half a cup. But they both work. And now, some lemon juice. So I use a whole lemon. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of capers. The capers add the little bit of salt. They're like little salt nuggets, really. And they're really important in this dish. I'm just gonna let this reduce down a little. Put the chicken back in and finish cooking it. That's how easy it is. And chicken juices. All right, so a lot of people struggle with knowing when the chicken is done, like Natasha. Hey. Um, so what I do is I just touch it. You see how springy it is? See this? See that? That tells me it's not cooked inside yet. It'll be a lot firmer when it's cooked. And chicken should be cooked through. So, not yet. And listen, if you run out of broth or it starts to reduce too much, just add a little more broth. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter at the end. You know why? Just cuts. Just cuts. I'll show you. It makes it a little bit more velvety. See how it needs, it needs a sheen on the sauce. And then you take the sauce. This is something you see chefs do all the time. You take a spoon, you take some sauce. See? It just keeps the chicken nice and moist. I think she's ready. Everyone here on the floor is ready. They're all waiting. We're all waiting for dinner. Especially Mary Grace. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Mary Grace, you want some Are you gonna pour the sauce over it? Let's see that. Can you see it? Can you see it? There you go. You can see it. See all that sauce? Oh yeah. You can serve it over pasta, over potatoes, over rice, over crusty bread, which is my favorite. Put a little bit of the sauce. Perhaps we can get a caper. Yeah, we did. Mm. 
Mm. I love it because it's so lemony and because the chicken stays so moist with all the sauce. Chicken heaven. All right, guys, enjoy my chicken piccata.